to be making Sriracha Barbecue Sloppy Joe Sliders. Um, this will be the first recipe in a series of five videos where I make five different uh, slider recipes. But before we dive into today's recipe, I want to thank everybody for the support you've given the channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on any of the videos. So let's grab our aprons, let's get our ingredients, and let's get started. For our sliders, we are going to need the following. Ground beef, bell peppers, onions, ketchup, ground sugar, sriracha sauce, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, salt, garlic powder, vinegar, slider rolls, cheddar cheese, and some melted butter. All right, so we've got a pan heating up over a medium high heat. And to this, we are going to add in our ground beef, and we're going to want to break this up a little bit. And there we go. And so we're going to cook this till it's brown and no longer pink, and then we're going to add in our vegetables. So this has been going a good five minutes as you see our onions are starting to turn transparent. So now we're going to start adding in the rest of our ingredients. Let's turn this down a little bit. We're going to add in our ketchup and this is about two cups. Then we're going to add in our brown sugar. This is about a half a cup. two tablespoons, I believe, of vinegar, then some, about four teaspoons of our sriracha sauce, a couple of tablespoons of soy, uh, and also about a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce, and then we're adding in some garlic and some salt. A mix. We're going to try and not make too big of a mess uh, because I'm notorious for throwing stuff everywhere when I'm mixing up a bunch of liquids in a pan. So far, so good. It's all mixed up. And we are just about there. Okay. So now we're going to drop this down to a simmer once it comes up to a boil. I'm sorry, not a boil. But once it uh, comes up and starts cook or bubbling, we're going to drop this down to a simmer. And we're going to throw a lid on it and let it cook. All right. So as you can see, everything is all done. Hmm. So what we are going to do, we are going to take our sloppy joe mix and we are going to spoon it over our slider buns. And we have put the buns into a oven safe baking dish. Now, if your sloppy joe mix comes out too thin, um, do not be afraid to add either some tomato paste to it or some cornstarch because we do want this to be rather thick. Um, because we don't want it to just run off the buns or the sliders while this is in the oven. So once we get all these covered, and you will have some left over, and I'll use it for, you know, just making me a single sloppy joe. Now, we are going to cover this with cheese, and I've got some shredded mild cheddar. And you're probably going to give 
maybe half to three quarters of the packet. Or if you want, you can use the whole thing. Because I've done that sometimes. these with the tops of our sliders and gently press them down. And pick up any straggling cheese slice, cheese bits. This cheese is good. And then we are going to brush the tops with butter. If you want, you can throw some uh, sesame seeds on these. Totally up to you. So now we're going to throw this in a 350 degree oven and let that go for about 15 minutes till everything's all toasted and gooey. Okay, so we just pulled these out the oven. They were in there for about 15 minutes. Everything looks gooey and gooey. So let's get us some sliders. I think I maybe should have gotten a bigger spatula, but we'll see. Yeah, I need a bigger spatula. Sink. And here we go. Oh, ooh, neither. Okay. And there we go. Break them all up into individuals. And we are good to go. So I wanted to thank everybody for watching. As always, I express my thanks to each and every one of you who've helped support this channel. So, this is going to be the first video in our slider series. Um, so, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And as always, be nice, be kind, because it could change somebody's day. And so now, I'm gonna eat me some sliders.